So you wake up and you feel a little bit on the crummy side. Maybe you have some discomforts, maybe you have some aches or some pains, maybe you have some confusion. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed about what you have to do. Maybe you're just feeling tired and you want to go back to sleep. Well, what do you do? Do you just give in and go back to sleep? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I thank you for joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. I am an ordained metaphysical minister, and here to show you how to experience the invisible forces in your life and the way you run your head, which determines how your whole life shows up. So if you or somebody new on your spiritual journey, you're in the right place and I have a gift for you to get a head start on your spiritual journey. What steps to take? Go ahead down in the show notes and you will see the link for Step in a New Direction. It's a very short piece that gives you some guidance on how to move forward when you're looking to change how you look at the world, how you look at yourself. So if you've been following me for a while now, you're aware that I've been going through some really tough stuff, some really painful stuff. These were the actually weeks where the world was just spinning and I have to get up and go on and live anyway, right? Because the choice is feel bad all day or get up and get to yourself. I have the most wonderful role model ever. This is my bubby, my grandmother. And I know that she spent her life in pain because you could see how difficult it was for her to walk. And every night I'd have to bring her some pain killing medication because she was really hurting. But she didn't let anything stop her from going about her day, for cooking the most extraordinary foods, for being there to play games with me, just to be a really cool, loving person. And what she would say to me, because I remember once I was so sick that I had to drop out of college. And I got home and I went to the doctor and he looked at me and he said, I don't even recognize you. That's what bad shape I was in. But Bobby didn't let me stay and feel sorry for myself and sleep away the day and the discomforts. She'd tell me in the morning, you got to get up and you got to get to yourself. And that's what I'm saying to you now. So I've been going through a really, really tough period physically and emotionally for the last two whole months. And every day, it doesn't matter how I feel and how much I'd rather just stay in bed. I hear Bubby's voice saying, you got to get up and get to yourself. I get up. Well, the first thing I do is I meditate. I do my gratitude and my thank you to all my guides, to all my angels, to the universe for giving me constant guidance as is happening to you. So become aware and I can teach you how to do that. You just let me know that you're looking for that and I'll be glad to get you in that same kind of space. So after I meditate, after I do all my thank yous, after you do my blessings, after I do my blessings, because as a minister, it's kind of like a healing circle, just to bring people who are struggling into the awareness so there's another name going out on their behalf to the infinite source, the creator, God, the power, the higher power that makes the world happen as it does. Your world, my world, all of us are the same single energy, regardless of what solar system you live in, what planet, wherever you are, we're all one energy. And whatever you do and however you treat yourself, 
and however you think you're treating somebody else, it goes out into the universe, but it comes right back at you. So keep that in mind when you're judging somebody, when you're causing them to, in your mind, be less than you, that can't happen. So go on, do what you have to do before you get out of bed. The last thing I do is the meditation. Then I get up, I get washed, I get dressed, I drink my water, because everybody loses two cups of water. Whether or not you realize it, you're sweating during your sleep. That's why you tend to turn over a number of times during your sleep, because otherwise you'd be lying in a puddle of <laughs> uncomfortable dampness. So drink your two glasses of water, and then the first thing that I put in my mouth after the water is some yogurt, because I want my body to right off the beginning of the day start with some probiotics going on. And into there, I'll put some supplements that I think are key, because you know you can't get all your nutrition from your food these days. I buy organic, I buy pasture raised, and still I make sure that I have the basic needs. Since like magnesium, 83% of people are deficient in magnesium. So the more than 300 things going wrong in their body, they don't know it's coming from a magnesium shortage. People are also short on potassium. And then I like to take supplements that I can open them up because I put them into my yogurt because my body does not like if I take something in a capsule, in a pill, it wants it to be my food. And I recommend that for you too because it goes more easily into your system, into your digestive system so it can go through your body and nourish your body, mind, spirit all day long. So it doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter if I'm tired. It doesn't matter on, thank goodness it's rare, the times when I've only slept three hours during the night. It doesn't matter because I get myself up, I do my routine, I get washed, I get dressed, I have my yogurt, and I jump right into starting my day. Now, if I'm feeling a little drained or feeling a little low, I realize, hey, I'm choosing to feel less than fantastic. So I found some ways to get myself up and going. My favorite one is exercising. I have a rebounder that's a mini trampoline and I do certain routines on it. I don't just hold on, jump up and down like the kids do, because that's what's fun for them. But I do things that get my whole body working, that nourish my heart, that get my lymph system flowing. That's the whole point of a rebounder, because many uh, health issues are caused by not exercising your lymphatic system. So those are all the things I do in the morning and if I still feel like I'm a little low on energy and I need something else to get me going, I'll turn on some really lively music. So my favorite music is from the 1960s, 60s rock, and also Motown music. And I love, uh, I love a variety of music, but it's gotta be stuff that gets me going and that picks me up. So I'm trusting that you've picked up some clues on how to make every one of your days, every moment, a moment to enjoy. And again, I thank you for joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. You can join our Facebook group where you can ask questions. I am getting more back online more often, so you'll see me in there every day as I get to the point. Oh, did you notice? 
my wrist is almost all better so I'm not wearing anything to protect it right now and I can do all kinds of things like this with my hand so how you feel is according to what you tell yourself up here you can ask questions you can make friends you can tell me where are you listening from or watching if you're watching the video of the episode and be sure that you pick up your copy of step in a new direction and i really really appreciate your coming in and join our community because your contribution is what keeps us going it costs not just energy not just time it costs money to create and distribute this show for you and the universe tells me regardless of anything i do or don't do in the world make sure to get this podcast done every single week and if things look different for you today it's because i'm 90 percent unpacked after my move and i finally found my tripod so i was going to go outside to record this today but airplanes kept flying over so i figured you wouldn't have heard me but i'm looking forward to coming to you as i used to in the past from beautiful nature and as far as joining our community you will also get to join me live every month for a live video chat you can ask anything you want you can share whatever you want because i want to know who you are and what you're about and why you're here what is it you're looking to discover because that invisible world it's 99 percent of what's impacting you in every single moment and i also have a special offer for you from audible i have an enormous library of audiobooks because when i study a book i like to listen to it over and over and over and over. i'll spend months actually it's been over a year that i've been listening to and reading uh, from d wallace is born and i also do the Dao Te ching and i just go over and over and over them because every day when I look at and listen to the messages, I'm a different me. You're not the same you every day. You can't step into the same river every day because you're different, the river's different, what's flowing in it, what's going through your mind, the life experiences that you just been through so audible gives you a 30 day free trial there's so much in there to look at to listen to there's podcasts and there's magazines and of course audio books and you get to choose the book of your choice and for 30 days just look around and experience all the cool stuff in there and if for any reason you're not completely delighted after the 30 days, if you want to quit the trial, you can go ahead and do that and still keep your book. Look for that link in the show notes. And you'll also find the link to our podcast page where you can see the video or hear the audio or both for any episode and what's going out today we are in season three so there are quite a bit over 100 episodes for you to discover again i'm reverend ali beerman this is let's get metaphysical connecting heart and mind and remember to enjoy that's capital i n capital j o y 
every moment because you live your life within. Nothing can be experienced outside of you. It all happens within. I look forward to seeing you here next time.